Welcome back to another episode of Niger Athletics Weekly, here to talk about some of the great performances Nigerian athletes displayed this past week in track and field. We're going to start off internationally where we saw Essay Brume competing in France this past week. She got out to a huge mark in the women's long jump, 6.82 meters, which is a personal best for her. This is the third consecutive meet in a row that she's managed to jump a personal best in that long jump. So really showing the consistency during this indoor season for 2020. Definitely going to see her translate this out outdoors to the long jump and potentially improve upon the bronze she got in Doha last year going potentially for gold in Tokyo this year so keep following along with Ese Brume it looks like she's gonna have a great 2020 year so let's move domestically to Nigeria where each state in the country is currently holding trials during this month to select their teams for athletics and for other sports to represent them at the national sports festival in Edo that will be happening next month from March 22nd to April 1st in athletics each state can have three athletes per sprint event in the 100, 200, and 400 meters, and then one athlete for all other track and field events that can represent them at the National Sports Festival in Edo. So this weekend, we saw the Lego State Athletic Trials held on Friday, and then followed up by the Delta State Athletic Trials held starting on Saturday. So let's start off with highlights from the Legos trial held at the Tesla and Balogun Stadium in Legos. Starting off with that men's 100 meters, we saw a high quality field lineup for the 100 meter final, but it managed to be Jerry Jokba. He came up for the win in 10.51 seconds to grab the first place position. He was followed behind by his teammate Favor Ash who ran a great race last weekend setting a personal best in Akure. Here in Lagos though he managed to run second place 10.76 seconds. He was also followed by his teammate Gafaru Adu who managed to run 10.79 seconds for third place. So three teammates taking the top three spots in that men's 100 meter final. Moving over to the women's side in the 100 meters a really high quality close final here but Joy Udo Gabriel she came up for the win in a 11.79 seconds just pulling away from Anita Taviore who managed to come up for second in 11.89 seconds so really close race for the top two we also saw in third place Balikis Yakubu who managed to run 12.19 seconds again for third place spot there but Joy Udo Gabriel getting that first place position in the women's 100 meters stepping it up to the 200 meters for the men we saw the same top three from the 100 meters this time a slightly different order Jerry Jakbado still getting the win in that 200 meters 21.34 Four seconds followed behind this time though by Gafaru Adu who came up for second place in 21.60 seconds favor Ash who came up for second in the hundred he got third place here in 21.61 seconds overall so the top three teammates from the hundred meters getting the top three in the 200 meters as well great performances by these guys on the women's side in the 200 meters we also saw the same top three from the hundred meters just like the men this time though Anila Taviore she managed to get the first place here 23.72 seconds really great performance because she was the only one who went under 24 seconds. Joy Udo Gabriel, who had won the 100 meters, she came up for second place in the 200, 24.60 seconds. And then Balikis Yakubu got the third place spot in 24.63 seconds. So again, 100 meters and 200 meters, same top three, just like the men's side, just a little bit switched up order. Great performances for both men and women. Moving up to the 400 meters, first on the men's side, Emmanuel Ojeli managed to get the win in that 400, 46.26 seconds. A season's best for his first 400 of the 2020 season. He looked very comfortable throughout the entire race. From the start all the way to the finish, he controlled his heat, was unchallenged, and again, looked very, very comfortable. Definitely looks like he's going to have a great 2020 season this year. In second place overall, we saw Shegun Sebakan, who came up with 47.71 seconds. So showing that big gap all the way to the first place time from Ojeli of 46.26. Then in third place, we saw Fatola Adedoyen run 48.08 seconds so again Emmanuel Ojeli taking the win in the 446.26 seconds very comfortable win for him there on the women's side in the 400 meters we saw Blessing Oladoye come up for the win in 55.13 seconds a good distance away from the rest of the competitors in her heat to take the win overall we also saw Mercy Moibang come up for second place overall in 55.61 seconds which is a huge personal best for her in that 400 meters her previous personal best was 57.6 17 seconds which was set back in 2018 at the first MOC Grand Prix so really taking a lot of time off her personal best definitely good signs for the 2020 season for Umoibang and then also in third place we saw Ada Bright come up with 55.74 seconds so all the top three ladies here running 55 seconds really great performances overall now let's talk about some hurdles in the women's 100 meter hurdles MOC's Miracle Thompson came up for a personal best of 14.54 seconds a huge personal 
personal best. Her previous best was 14.93 seconds from January this year. And this is only the third time that she's ever run the 100 meter hurdles competitively. So definitely showing some great progression for her. And we also saw her trip at the start of the race. So she could make up a lot of ground there. This is definitely a significant performance and we're gonna see a lot more from her as the season progresses. In second place, we saw Victoria Adumbi who came up in 14.58 seconds. So just missing out on the win from Thompson after the last hurdle, but still great performance for her. Then in third place, we saw Fidelia Uchiobi who ran 15.95 seconds, getting the third place position in the 100 meter hurdles. Again, Miracle Thompson getting that win 14.54 seconds in the women's 100 meter hurdles. Now we can't forget about the men's 110 hurdles, Abejoye Oyenyi. He came up for first place 14.06 seconds. What makes this race really significant and great run for him is he was running by himself on the outside lane. So to be able to keep that focus and still come away with a great performance is really significant for Oyeni. So keep a lookout for him. Now let's move over to Delta State where we saw them holding their trials at the Stephen Keshi Stadium in Asaba. Delta State is the sports festival defending champions in athletics from the last edition in Abuja in 2018. So taking a look at some of the highlights here, we first saw the men's 100 meters. Uruemu Ijesa came away with the first place in the event, 10.2 three seconds. On the women's side in the 100 meters, we saw Praise Idamaduru come away with a very comfortable win, 11.59 seconds to get that first place there. In addition, have to know Praise Idamaduru, in addition to getting that 100 meter win, she also doubled up in the 400 getting the win there in 53.29 seconds. So really significant double being able to go from 100 to the 400 meters for her. On the 200 meter side of things for the women, we saw Favor Ophili. She grabbed the win very comfortably, 23.36 seconds for her in that 200 meters. On the men's side in the 400 meters, Daniel Atinaya came up with 46.29 seconds to get the overall win for that 400 meters. Also in the men's 400 meter hurdles, Emogene Timothy came up with the win in 51.01 seconds. Great performance for our 400 meter hurdles there. Definitely going to look out for him during the 2020 season. So great performances from both Delta State and from Lego State Athletic Trials. Delta State could be the team to be again at the National Sports Festival next month in Edo, especially if they add to their team some foreign based athletes many of whom represented them at the last national sports festival in Abuja 2018 so definitely look out for a great competition again coming up in Edo next month so we saw over 20 MOC athletes compete at the Legos athletic trials for the national sports festival next month in Edo and they managed to win six out of seven events that they contested the women's 200 meters is the only event that an MOC athlete competed in and didn't actually manage to win so really significant and great performances for them. A couple other performances from the MOC athletes in Legos. Maria Umoiban came away with the 100 meter B final win for the women 12.48 seconds. Again taking the first place in that B final in the 100 meters. She actually just ran 12.16 seconds just last weekend in Akure which makes her the fastest 15 year old right now in Nigeria. So definitely what to look out for in the future. We also saw Gracious Ushe in the men's 400 and 200 meters. He placed 5th place in the 400 meters and he made managed to place fourth place in the 200 meters. So really great double for him there. We also saw Shea Gonahigbe come away with the sixth place in the men's 400 meters. Great sixth place performance for him. Moyo Badejo also performed very well in both the 100 meters and the 200 meters where she finished fourth place in both of those events. So great performance being able to come back for the double events there. Finally, Fidelia Uchiobi came away with the third place in the 100 meter hurdles, 15.95 seconds. Again, getting that third place behind Miracle Thompson who placed first. Great performances for the MOC athletes. So Gracious Segon and Moyo have positioned themselves well to make the relay team for Legos as well as the other MOC athletes who placed at the top three on the podium at the Legos trials this past weekend. Alright so those are some of the highlights from the athletes who competed this past weekend in track and field. Make sure you guys follow our social media. You can check out all the content that we provide highlighting a lot of the athletes both domestically in Nigeria and internationally all around the world. Alright so keep tuning in. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, to the channel and be back for the next episode of Nigel Athletics Weekly. Thanks.